the most famous trans people from history. Do like, subscribe and comment. Chevalier d'Ian Born in 1728, the Chevalier d'Ian had an illustrious career as a French spy and diplomat. After spending roughly the first half of his life as a man, the Chevalier began appearing at Queen Elizabeth's court dressed as a woman, claiming to have been assigned female at birth, and demanding to be recognized as such by the French government. An autopsy following the Chevalier's death showed the Chevalier had in fact been assigned male at birth. The Chevalier was such a well-known figure that the term Guianism enjoyed a brief vogue as a descriptor for those displaying transgender. Albert Cashier Albert Cashier was a transgender man who served in the Union Army during the Civil War. Born Jenny Irene Hodgers, Cashier claimed in later life that he began dressing in male clothing as a child, in order to find work. During the war, Cashier fought in approximately 40 battles, and once single-handedly overpowered a prison guard in order to escape back to his division after being captured. Michael Dillon Born Laura Maud in May of 1915, Lawrence Michel Dillon was the first transgender man ever to undergo a phalloplasty. He also published a book entitled Self, a study in endocrinology and ethics, which many people consider the first book about transgender identity and gender transitioning. In this book, Dillon described transgender identification as innate and unaffected by psychotherapy, and advocated medical treatment using hormones and surgery as an alternative. Dillon himself aided in the surgical transition of Roberta Cowell, Britain's first male-to-female transgender person to undergo sexual reassignment surgery. Jean Dark The gender and sexuality identity of French crusader Jean Dark, better known to non-French speakers as Joan of Arc, has long been the subject of intense debate among historians and religious figures alike. The Christian crusader adamantly refused to wear women's clothing or to style her hair in the female-appropriate style of the time. It's unclear to modern historians what implications Jean Dark's devotion to cross-dressing may have had regarding her gender identity or sexuality, but this was considered a very serious, blasphemous offense at the time, so the fact that she stuck to it so fiercely has certainly aroused questions. When confronted about her choice to dress exclusively in male attire, Jean reportedly said, as for women's clothing, I shall not put it on until it please God. Lily Elba Born in Denmark in 1882, Elba was not only trans, but also a lesbian. She met her wife, Gerda, at college, and they moved to Paris to be artists together. Elba first started dressing in women's clothes to fill in for Gerda's female models, but was so comfortable in ladies' attire that she transitioned to doing so full-time. Gerda became modestly famous in the Paris art scene for her portraits of beautiful women in high fashion attire, all of which were modeled by Lily. Sylvia Rivera Sylvia Rivera was one of the earliest and most influential transgender rights activists following the Stonewall in Uprising in 1969, at which she was present. She was close friends with Marsha P. Johnson, and spent almost her entire life fighting for civil rights reform, not only for gay and transgender people, but also for African Americans, and as part of the second wave feminist movement. Christine Jorgensen Born in 1926, Christine Jorgensen is often cited as the first American woman to successfully undergo gender reassignment surgery. In reality, though hers was one of the earliest cases, Jorgensen's surgery followed on the heels of at least a few other people. She was, however, the first person to become widely recognized as a transgender woman, and was generally a good sport about giving interviews and responding gracefully to media interest. Elagabalus Probably the most bizarre Roman emperor of all time, save for Caligula, Elagabalus ascended dubiously to this leadership role when he was just 14 years old. It's hard to really pin down any finite understanding about his gender identity or sexuality, since like Caligula, he was known for being outrageously decadent, and was pretty much all over the board in this regard. He was married five different times, to both men and women, and is sometimes cited as an example of a person with a possible transgender or gender fluid identity, since he often appeared in court wearing women's cosmetics and dressed in fashion typical for women of the time period.